everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and today I have a thank you card. Um, I'm actually going to be using these, I think, for customers this month, um, January 2021. I'm using some of the Celebration um, Designer Series paper. So if you don't know, Celebration is the best time of year at Stampin' Up! And this year it is January through February and you earn free products with every $50 or $100 order. There's no limits. So this is one of the designer series papers that you can earn um, with a $50 order, and I absolutely love it. So I want to show you the different patterns. They're just bright and beautiful um, floral patterns in here. Look at that. And so I really just wanted to create a very simple card that just showcased um, the beautiful paper. So these can be very quick uh, cards. You can create multiples, um, you know, if you needed to do a lot, um, which we all do at some point. Um, but I absolutely just love this paper. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how I did this card. I just really feel like the paper really stands out. So we are using uh, Bumblebee as our card base. This is um, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have a couple pieces. So my designer series paper, I'm just gonna double check myself. It's three uh, by five and a half. And we are going to cut that and give that little curvy detail with our um, curvy dies. And then I have another piece of Bumblebee that is two and a half uh, by five and a half. And we're going to emboss this. So one of my favorite new embossing folders in our um, January through June catalog is the um, Painted Texture. And I think this one is going to be a hit. Um, so it's probably easier to see uh, in, in this. It's awesome. I know I'm going to be using it a ton. I'm also using the Stitch So Sweetly dies. We're going to use this little rectangle for our sentiment. Um, so let's go ahead and grab our stamp and cut and emboss machine and do that first. Okay, so here is the designer series paper. Here is my curvy die. And you can see here where this raised edge is, that's where it's actually going to cut. And so I am literally just kind of skimming off the edge of the designer series paper. So I want to keep most of it because it's gorgeous. So I'm just going to make sure that curve kind of touches the edge there. And let's run that through. And you can see there's our scrap. And then you get this beautiful um, decorative edge. Okay, let me just get that plate out of there. Now we're going to change our platform. So I'm going to just have our number one in here. I'm going to grab that bumblebee with our painted textured folder. And where did I put my plate number four? And we are going to run this through. And look at all of the texture that that gave us. I just love it and I feel like you can use it with any card design, um, which is another thing I love. Okay, let's bring back in our other platforms and I'm going to grab my scrap of Whisper White here with our little stitched rectangle. Let's just run that through. Whoops, that went flying. Okay, now we're done with that. Let me get some of those little pieces out. I can see them. All right, so now we have all of our layers. So let me grab our base. We're gonna give this a nice burnish. I'm gonna take that painted embossed piece. And we're going to put adhesive all the way around so it doesn't lift and I'm literally just putting that flush here against the edge just like that okay and then I'm going to use my liquid glue I 
on our designer series paper. And I'm going to put that flush to this edge. And so it's going to overlap that painted texture. And if you want, you can sit something heavy on it, um, you know, just to hold it for a moment. And then the stamp set that I'm using for our sentiment today is called Here's a Card. Um, this is just sentiments, 14 of them, different ones. And we are going to do thanks in Bumblebee to match our card. So let's bring in our little label. And we're going to do the thanks there in the middle. And then I have a little scrap of our Bumblebee ribbon. This is in the annual catalog since Bumblebee is one of our in colors. The in color ribbons um, are there. So I am going to I might trim this a little bit. Let me see. I just want it to kind of hang out the one edge. So let me grab my ribbon scissors and I'm just going to trim off a little bit more of that. Let's grab our seal. I'm just going to put a little there to kind of hold our ribbon. And then I'm going to grab two dimensionals. For that and we're just going to layer this right over that. Look at that! Just a very quick and simple thank you card and I just hope that the designer series paper just really shines. I absolutely love it. Um, so let me show you. Um, if you don't have a demonstrator and you'd like a new catalog and a celebration flyer, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to send you one. Um, I'm going to give you a little preview here of kind of how this works. So you'll see there are certain items in here that say free with $50 purchase. Here's another set of beautiful paper that I'm going to be using soon. Um, this is an adorable stamp set. Here's another one. Here's some more gorgeous paper. So there's lots of options to choose from at the $50 level. And then there's also some that are at the $100 level. So here is the paper we use today. It's called Flower and Field Designer Series Paper. And that can be yours with your $50 order. Um, here is one that is um, a distinctive kind of looking stamp set, a two-step stamp set. This is with a $100 purchase. Um, so you can find PDFs to both of these on my blog. Um, if you do want a hard copy, feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to get one mailed to you. Um, and I look forward to being back with you guys real soon. You'll find a full supply list in the description of the video, along with links to purchase these items in my online store. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.